So I do all my software development on Apple computers nowadays. I'm currently on an iMac, and I actually got this a couple months ago. Now when I was picking this out, I was actually trying to decide between getting this and getting a Windows computer. And at first I actually purchased the Windows computer, and the main reason was the price. I got much better specs on the Windows computer um, than on the Apple computer for a better price. And that was really the reason why I chose to get it. But I actually ended up returning it because I just did not like it as much for software development. So I used Windows and I also dual booted it with Linux and gave that a try and neither of them I was really satisfied with. And this could be I was already used to using uh, Mac and Apple software before that. All through college I used a MacBook Pro and so I got really used to it and I got a nice development rhythm down. But in this video we're going to go over a few things that I really like about Apple computers and why I really recommend them for software development. The first thing is just installing packages or just developer tools in general. So getting homebrew and then just things in general are so much easier to install on Mac than when setting things up for Windows. Now I'm specifically talking about developer tools here and different software that you need for development. Uh, randomly things can just cause all sorts of problems on Windows. Path, getting your path set up and making sure it's right can be a complete nightmare sometimes. I ran into tons of problems when trying to do that. And so the time saving, time savings um, is just huge. And that's one thing that I really liked about it. Now I will say Windows is really shoring this up. There's two things that really helped. One being chocolatey. So this package manager was super nice when I wanted to install stuff. The other thing is the Windows subsystem or the Linux subsystem for Windows is nice. It's not quite there yet where you get that ease of use uh, that you get on a Mac where you can just pop open a terminal and being able to do that sort of thing. Um, but I can definitely see a world where Windows gets better in both installing tools and just being able to run Linux commands and stuff. Uh, and Windows could be a more viable choice. But right now, it's just so much easier to get stuff, just a developer environment set up on Mac, and all the different developer tools are gonna work usually out of the box uh, and are supported easier on Mac, at least the ones I've been using. The other thing I just wanna mention is compared to Linux. Um, Linux, I really wanted to like. Um, it was also, it's nice that, you know, it's free and you don't have to pay a license like the other two. I ended up starting with Ubuntu is what the uh, OS that I tried out or the distribution I tried out. And it was nice, uh, but the biggest thing for me is why I switched away from it and why I switched away from using Vim and switched to VS Code and using the Vim plugin with that is just the time it takes to configure stuff and to get stuff working. And I just like spent way too much time in the settings and playing with my basically my configurations with Linux that it just was not worth it. Uh, the defaults are just so much better on or on Mac, or at least I would just not go around and switching stuff and try to configure all this stuff as much. Um, and the other thing is there's just not as much stuff works on Ubuntu or just Linux in general right now. I feel like most software, uh, Windows and Apple are kind of the two that you think about for making stuff with and then after that uh, Linux is kind of an afterthought for a lot of things now I think this is definitely getting better and more stuff is getting developed for Linux which is super nice um, but again I don't think it's there quite yet and I think there's just a lot of stuff missing and it just takes more time to get stuff set up as well so I feel like that's kind of like the big thing is the time that it takes to set up different tooling is feels longer on Windows and Linux compared to Apple. Um, the other thing I want to mention about Windows that's huge is I'm not really playing video games anymore and so that's like a giant reason to get Windows. It just has the most support for it. Definitely you know there's really no reason to get an Apple computer if you want a game. It's just not even close to Windows. Um, but since I'm not doing that anymore that was a non-factor. Uh, so that was another thing that like didn't sway me and I was strictly looking for something that was great for developing stuff. And then lastly, the thing that uh, is also nice about having an Apple computer is being able to develop iPhone or Apple 
uh, apps. So I like to do React Native, so creating both Android and iOS apps, being able to have access to Xcode and the iOS simulator and being able to publish stuff to the Apple Store um, with a Mac. It's, you have to have a Mac to be able to do that, so it's nice having that. Anyway, that's currently why I'm on a Mac computer and plan to continue developing on Apple computers in the future. I definitely could see myself switching to either Linux or Windows in the future if things are supported better, but at the moment, definitely would recommend using Mac.